I've had it! Hello everybody, hope everybody is doing well. We are about to start picking cotton after a rain. We got an inch and a half two days ago. Now the sun's shining, the wind's blowing, the cotton's dry, so we're gonna pick it. Come along with us, grab you some cotton candy, and let's start picking some cotton. clean we picked it before the rain and it was picking super clean not leaving no cotton every bit gone now it's leaving a little bit you can see in the background uh we'll tell you what why don't we zoom in on it so you got that guy he didn't come out and miss that guy miss that guy so what's up everybody Get my hair microphone on so y'all can hear me. If I can figure out how to work this thing. How in the world can that thing say battery low? But it's got 96% charge on the battery icon. <laughs> uh, anyway. Alright, y'all, how's everybody doing? Well, as you can see, I'm off picker restriction. Um I know it. I had too much cotton in the either, It's either I'm off picker restriction or um, Jim just really had something he wanted to do today. Went down here in our Johnson field. I'm sure Jim's done told y'all that. Running deer out everywhere. I ain't, I ain't got my heads all the way down. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna get put back on the street. Hope I didn't make a mess. Eh, not too bad. Got the camera rolling, I guess. We are getting down. I got, uh, I'm gonna guess, somewhere around 30 to 40 acres left in this field, and I got to get it done today. We got more rain coming tonight. And this field's already got rained on one time. It was picking beautiful. I'm talking about, couldn't ask for no better. And then we got about an inch and a half, two inch rain on it. And uh, we let it dry out here out for a couple of days, but the cotton's just not fluffing out and um, just not picking very good, leaving a lot of tags. And uh, for those of y'all that may not know what a tag is, it's not a tag like on your car. Um, when you have a cotton bowl, it's attached to the inside of that bowl at the very back. And uh, when it's picking right, the cotton, you can pretty much just plug that bowl of cotton right out of the, out of the bowl. But when it gets rained on, I don't know what it does, but it makes that uh, root for that bowl, I guess you would call it, uh, makes it tough. And what it'll do, instead of pulling the whole bowl, it'll pull the bowl loose from the plant and leave a little bit of cotton on the plant. That's what we call a tag. All right, time for the first dump of cotton. Here it comes.
time to roll out a tarp. I'm driving. Okay, got the tarp rolled out, ready to roll. One more dump on this one, should finish it out, then we'll pull it off. We've already built four uh, before we got the rain. And hopefully we'll have a lot more. Like I say, this is the best cotton we've been to all year long, three bell cotton. What's up everybody? We are out here picking cotton on this beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Not a cloud in sight. Which it wasn't that way a couple of days ago when Tropical Storm Nicole come through. Um, and, and give us actually some much needed rain as far as drought wise will go. But didn't really need it on our cotton that we already had defoliated. We got more rain coming in two days. It's supposed to rain again Tuesday. Got a cold front coming. So they don't really need to get rain on it again. Yeah, definitely leaving quite a bit. How much are you going to lose if you let it get rained on again and a good breeze come through again? You know, you got to kind of gamble. Well, we fixed the letter rip. I tried several different gears, um, did a comparison side by side to see if any particular gear picked better than the other. Um, I thought 3.8 mile an hour yesterday might have looked a little bit better. I've been running 3.6, but uh, considering how much I got to get done today, we're rolling at 4.3. And I can't tell a bit of difference between that and 3.6, so I'm going to let her eat. Here goes Mr. Bunny Rabbit. how full I'm gonna be by the time I get there um, I could if I'm pretty full you can get me and then I'll go bust one open or I can come down to the outside but that means you'll have to catch me at the other end probably yeah, well, yeah for it should be pretty close I ain't been getting but about a through per basket, seems like. And whenever you get turned around and straightened up, I'll go ahead and get what you have. I don't know if it's faster, slower, or what, but it's uh, definitely easier on the equipment. Now, I mean, I can turn around you know, and go right down beside the pass I just made. Um, but in order to turn that sharp in these short end rows like this, you gotta get on the brakes pretty good on your picker. And you know, that's just extra wear and tear that's not necessary. shot hyper wide oh lord got oil all over the camera okay we got it packed down about to pull off the very first module of the day Not too bad, not too bad. Looks good. Thanks. Looks real good. 
Jeff thinks it looks real good. It's gonna pull up and get ready to build number two. Everybody's having a fantastic day and had a super duper good Thanksgiving. Had a lot more footage filmed, but accidentally erased a whole memory card full of footage. So this video jumped around quite a bit, kind of abruptly ended. We're picking cotton, now it's nighttime. And uh, yeah, so the story really wasn't told. But anyways, yeah. is what it is. Hope everybody had a, a good Thanksgiving. Ellie, you want to say anything? Say happy Thanksgiving. Mommy. You want to say happy Thanksgiving? Happy Thanksgiving! All right, Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the field rows. See ya. Bye. Focus.com.